Get over here! Bienvenidos nuevamente, damas y caballeros, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Wakamele 2. In the last episode, um, well, before we get to that, I'm actually gonna start off with this screen. So, you guys recall that I was trying to unlock something in a previous episode regarding uh, the costumes here. Well, Anthony M. the Gamer Artist, thank you for, uh, responding to, uh, episode... Uh, which was it? Episode 7. Uh, thank you for getting back to me, dude. So, he gave me the proper code here. So, according to his comment, it is... Down, down, up, up, right, left, right, left, up, left. Guacamole. Oh! And that- Oh! <laughs> Shirtless arachnid person? What is this? Shirtless arachnid person. <laughs> oh my god, this dude let himself go. What is this costume? Oh goodness. Actually, let's, yeah, let's, that, that's brighter there. Oh my. What? Is that a puppy? Is that a puppy? Hang on, I need to go somewhere where there's a little more to work with. Give me a moment. What is this costume? Let me see if I can get a closer look. Not as close, but... Oh, hello. Hang on a second. Oh, it's a muñeco again. Okay, so... That golden rock was... Just a rock. And Jaguar Javier has the Jade Relic now. I look like an idiot, Gertrude! No, it's true! Ladies, as you know, Salvador is still angry and doesn't want to see us. That's why we have to sneak in and find the Obsidian Relic before anyone even knows we're here. I'm going to need your help to pull this off. Let's make magic! And there they go. Okay, so this costume... Oh my god, it barks! What is this costume? I am curious now. I am actually even just might go through this episode as this costume, because holy crap, this is amusing as heck. And... Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go through this costume, or I'm gonna go through this episode with this costume. But, before we move on, there is something else I wanted to bring up. Um, there was another commenter who actually commented, he commented, on what's here. So, yes, as I predicted, this is actually a thing in Mexican folklore. Um... According to a commenter on episode 8, known as Jared Johnson, he gave me, um, uh, he gave me, uh, a bit of detail on this. It was actually, uh, covered by Overly Sarcastic Productions, too, so I actually gotta go and rewatch that episode. I'm pretty sure I saw, I saw it before. But these, this circular formation and these four heads represent the four, um, compass directions and thus four different meanings in Mexican and Aztec culture. Um, the black... Uh, the Black Northern Tiger, known as Tezcatlipocas. Uh, uh, Tez that there you go. Um, oh no, the four Tezlatipocas is what they are called. Um, the Black Northern one is Tezcatlipoca. Tez the Red Eastern one is Zipe Zipe Totec. The Blue Southern one is Huitzilopochtli, the Aztec god of war, and the White Western one is Quetzalcoatl. The guardian of the uh, the guardian of sky and uh, uh, the guardian of uh, the land, sea, and sky. Um, I'm not well versed in uh, Tezcat uh, Tezcatlipoca and uh, Zipe Totec. I'll, I'll put their meanings on the screen right now. But yeah, that's basically what these four are, and this is the uh, basis for the Obsidian Temple. That's really cool. So thank you, Anthony M, for the costume. Um, code and thank you Jared Johnson for the information on this. This is actually really cool This is the kind of stuff. I love in video games when they make like real-world references like that and just um, and, and just like implement it into uh, 
uh, into uh, modern games like that. I really like details like that. Um, Olmec Headbutt, here we go. I know it's called the KO Headbutt, but I'm so used to calling it the Olmec Headbutt that I'm just gonna go with that. Alright. Oh, I need the Dashing Derp Derp! Olmec Headbutt. And Rooster Uppercut! Lovely! By the way, I'm digging this music. Oh, okay, I got too close to with the tax. There we go. And we got a new purchase available. Um, we can upgrade one of our grabs. I'm actually... I actually just might go with uh, upgrading all of Coscorona's upgrades at this point, really. So yeah, let's go with this. Um, the SUPLEX! Um, and yeah, that should be it. Alright, so, moving on. This costume is so weird, but I kind of love it. If only because of the dog. Um, so I'm sure this is uh, shared, upon shared among a lot of people. I know it's a shared among a lot of my friends. I'm a dog person, guys. I used to think I was a cat person, and then I started owning a cat. Um, not that I don't mind Costa at all. Like, get, don't get me wrong, I love that little cat. But, goodness gracious, he can be a pain sometimes. Like, one thing I'm not necessarily too fond of is having to deal with his meowing at 3 in the morning because he wants to go out and do the business. Um, that's a bit, that's also been something that Amber hasn't been really appreciating all that much either. I mean, he's, he has, he has done it a lot less lately because he's been adjusting to the schedule. But the main reason for his- Oh, goodness! Teleporting- Uh, teleporting Aztec dude! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Um, grab him! Grab him! Jeez. Ah! Okay, I need a derp- I need a derp derp. Okay, that's the dodge. There we go. There we go. Okay, that- I struggled there a little bit. But anyway, um, you guys know I own a cat, Costa Pinto. Um, so a little fun fact about my cat, actually. Uh, Costa Pinto, um, is actually a nickname, uh, is actually a name. Cause, uh, Costa used to be, um... Uh, hang on. There we go, that was- that felt weird. Okay. Oh, jeez. I see what I gotta do here. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay. I'm gonna concentrate here for a minute. That is so cool. <laughs> but anyway, um, as I was saying, right? There we go. Beautiful. Um, Costa Pinto is actually a, uh, name that was given to, that was given to, uh, him by my sister, right? Uh, cause, uh, Costa actually used to be owned by my sister, but, uh, I mean, she's still around now. She actually lives with me, but just, like, in the, uh, back, uh, part of the complex. But, um, Costa has since be gotten into the ownership of basically all of us at this point. But, um, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Oh, I see what I gotta do. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. This is... This is very interesting. This is also probably a seizure nightmare! Okay, I see. Anyway, as I was saying, right? Um... Costa used to be owned by my sister, and she named him Costa Pinto. The reason for this is because, um, in Spanish, Costa Pinto, uh, is basically Spanish for Pinto Bean. But, it is also the name of a, of what was, what used to be a very popular, uh, character in a show that, um, I think my grandfather watched. Costa Pinto, believe it or not, is actually the nickname that my, uh, late grandfather used to call me. Like, no one else, uh, okay, 
no one else called me that, but once he started calling me that, like, my uncle started calling me it, a, a few of my aunts started calling me it. But yeah, Costa Pinto is actually the nickname of, um, is my nickname. So in this, in, in essence, my cat is actually named after me. Um, but yeah, um, Costa Pinto is the nickname that my late grandfather gave me. Uh, he since, uh, whoa, whoa, what was pushing me there? Uh, he has since, uh, passed away. Like, it, it was a, it's been a while, actually, since he passed away, but I do miss him dearly. Um, he was, he was a really great man. Um, I have a lot of respect for my grandfather. Um, I might as well go ahead and share that, actually. My grandfather was a really cool guy. Um, he was, uh, uh, he was very religious. Um, he is a, uh, uh, he is, he is a pastor, or he was a pastor, anyway. Um, and he was very well respected by a lot of my family. Um... More so than a lot of people, as far as I'm concerned. He had a really good head on his shoulders. But the uh, cool thing about him is, like, one of the, one of my fondest memories of uh, being with my grandfather is, um, despite being a pastor, my grandfather was a very, very skilled card shark. Like, you do not want to play that guy uh, in Texas Hold'em or five or five card poker. Like, the dude was re like my grandfather was really good at that, um, which was like. Which a lot of people seem to be a little surprised by, considering that, again, I've expressed before that he is a, uh, like, he was a pastor. So, some people are actually surprised by that fact. But yeah, my grandfather was a great guy. I do miss him dearly. Um, no one misses him more than my mom, though. Like, my mom was, uh, my mom was pretty, uh, heartbroken when, uh, he finally passed away. Uh, with great reason, though, because, like, you know, it's her dad. I actually, like, my... Oh man, this is adorable. I have more memories of, like, my, my grandfather on my dad's... On my mom's side than on my dad's side, because, um... I think my... I think... Oh, jeez. I think my grandfather on my dad's side was alive when I was born, but he passed away, uh, shortly after I was born, so I never got the opportunity to know the guy. Um, from what I interest... From what I am to understand, he was a decent guy. Um, oh boy. But that's really all I know, unfortunately. Okay, that's tricky. Um, alright. I know I just noticed that I can't double jump when I'm in uh, when I'm in boyo form. Or dog form, I guess. This is weird. Um, I'm actually I'm pretty sure that this is this costume is a reference to something, so if anyone knows what that reference is, please let me know, because I'm honestly stumped about that. Oh jeez. I gotta figure that out. So yeah, there, there you go. That, there's the reason for why Costa Pinto is uh, named the way he is because he's kind of, in a sense, uh, named after me. <laughs> okay, now I can actually. This is a screen where I can actually get a good uh, read on this costume. This is so strange. Um, I am willing to go through this episode with this costume, but I am definitely going to switch back to Juan, um, in the next episode. Oh, this is funny. Okay, I see what I gotta do here. Ah! I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we got an arena here. Let's see what we got. Lucha! Ha! Alright! Got the super headbutt! Yeah, those are going to blow up. Nice. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay, good combo. Beautiful. There we go. By the way, someone in the comments mentioned that I say beautiful a lot. I do. I really do. Like, that's just my general reaction to when things go really well. How did I not get hit there? Ah, jeez. I keep hitting the wrong damn button! There we 
we go. Ah! Okay, gotta be careful here. R. R trigger is... Oh, wow. I'm losing it here. Jeez. Huh. I did not know that the... I did not know that the gravity can actually uh, influence... Uh, uh, can actually influence uh, the projectiles. That's good to know. That was weird. Alright, if I can time this right, I should be able to use a dashing derp derp to get in here. Yes! There we go. So, what's here? Ooh! Another health piece. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I can already tell. What do we got? Oh, chupacabras! Okay, that's gonna be that's not gonna be easy, but here goes. I should like do some upgrades, but Yeah, okay, that was bad. Um Rooster Uppercut, but anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Uh Das Boot and Gotcha. That's gonna be a good one uh to have, uh, is gotcha, where I can grab them once I dodge an attack. That's really good. Um someone said that that's a reference to um Um Jax's gotcha. Um, in ah, oh, jeez, I gotta remember I have a double jump. Um, that like gotcha is a reference to Jax's command grab gotcha from Mortal Kombat X. I think that's a bit of a stretch, but it might be possible. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, jeez. No. Oh man, I had it there. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's good. And down you go. Awesome. Ah, okay, I see. Is that it? That is it. Awesome. Alright, I think I'm getting a little bit of my groove back. I just gotta remember that that's dodge and that's dimension swap. Unfortunately, I can't seem to grasp that uh, just yet. <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, we're good there. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're, we're making pretty good time today, actually. And I messed it up again. Anyway. There we go. Alright. And this should be it, I think. Yep, there we go. And away we go. Awesome. And there's Quetzalcoatl. All right. So, oh, the brothers are in a different area. I actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, someone mentioned that I should talk to the brothers uh, every time I uh, unlock a new, uh, uh, a new uh, area. So. Let's see what we got. It sounded like you smashed some piñatas back there. Confetti is so hard to get out of obsidian nooks and crannies. I'm not mad though. I'm just a bit offended that you had a fiesta and didn't invite me. Ah. I've been seeing footprints all over the walls since you arrived. It's so difficult for me to reach those places. How did you even get up there? <laughs> uh, it's called wall jump, my friend. But uh all right, so yeah, they have some. They have something different to say every time. Um, I now kind of wish I talked to them before I went to unlock that area, but eh, what are you gonna do? All right, so I think we got enough time to go through this area. So let's see what we got. So uh, speaking of which, um, at the time I'm recording this, um, uh, my mom is still in Honduras. Um, she's been away for a while, but she should be coming back uh, sometime. Uh, uh, sometime next week. So, I'm actually looking forward to that. I haven't seen my mom in ages. She's actually been in Honduras for a good while. Um, for those of you who might not know, though I don't really make this a secret at all. Um, my family origin stems from Honduras. Um, so my mom's been over there. She's actually been, uh, doing some, uh, real estate work. Uh, particularly because, uh, oh jeez, oh jeez. Uh, particularly because, like, uh, she got, she got a property there that she's planning on, uh, reimbursing and basically just doing some general business with. 
Uh, so that's gonna be interesting to see how that to see how that pans out. Oh man! Oh thank thank goodness for that tech roll. There we go. Because, yeah, I do miss my mom. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to make sure everything is all ship shape here. Nuts. Okay, it's clear that I want to take out that thing up there first. There we go. And a frog slam down. Awesome. Thankfully, those big... Big-armed skellies, um go down with two special moves, so I don't really have too much trouble taking them down. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Getting a little too, uh, overzealous there. Let's see what I can do here. Ah, okay, I see. Yes, and there we go. Yep, I figured this was going to be a bonus area. Oh, wow. How do I do this? Hmm. Oh, I think I see what I got to do. This music is pumping. I love it. It's very chill, and yet somehow also, like, very motivating. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be a little tough. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to take care of something real quick. So, anyway, back to this little challenge. And here we go. I swear, if I make this because, like, I guess I just needed a little break! Ha! That's funny. Alright then, so, moving on. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um... Dealt with a little bit of an issue um, here at home, but again, no big deal. Uh, just uh, just took me a little longer than I would have liked. Anyway, here we go. And yeah, we're getting close. So, boy of power? Or perro power, I guess. Perrito power! What is this little puppy? I, I gotta know. Someone in the comments, please answer that question for me. There we go. Whoa! Alright, that took me by surprise. I need the headbutt for this. Ow! Awesome sauce. There we go. And this guy should be easy to take care of. Yeah, thankfully those guys don't actually do damage. They just, um, they just slow you down. Which is detrimental, mind you, but still. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's really cool. <laughs> I say that a lot, apparently. Alright. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. There we go. Ow. There it is. I need to be patient on this one. Yeah, 
honestly, half of these challenges is really just patience. Something I admittedly don't have too much of, but enough at the very least to deal with something like this. Oh, I see. Okay, that's easy. Awesome. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this skin is, this skin definitely has him, like, uh, what was it again? The shirtless arachnid man? A little overweight. Okay, how do I deal with this? Um, whoa. Oh, I see. Huh. So it was as simple as that, huh? How'd that miss? Eh, whatever. Okay, frog slam that to get a shortcut. There we go. Yeah, we're running low on time, so I'm definitely going to be uh, ending the episode once I unlock the portal. Um, we got more purchases. Uh, what else can we get? We got we can get more boyo powers. What is this? Yeah, let's go ahead and get the super headbutt. Yeah, uh, that's good enough for now. There we go. Yeah, that, that part's easy. And we should be getting close. Um, is that a, is that a way to a uh, secret or? Yes, it is. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's actually use the frog slam to kind of... Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got this. I got this. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Temple Raider. <laughs> um, otherwise known as Tomb Raider. <laughs> I love the meta. I, I love the meta humor in this game. Here, what do we got? Ow. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just jumped right in there. I am not gonna complain. Is that it? Oh! That was weird. Oh no, not these guys! Gotcha. Awesome, there we go. And that should be it, but it looks like there's something down here that I could possibly get. Oh, no, it's just a... Uh... Huh. Okay. That should be it. Yeah, baby. Thanks, sucker! Oh, jeez, white back. You know, green goo is actually pretty useful. Sometimes I use it to mop the floors. Works pretty well. Oh yeah, if you ever get a chance to talk to the dead dog lady, can you tell her to stop littering everywhere she goes? I'm getting a little tired of scooping up after her. Ew, that's disgusting. Um, and what do you have to say? Oh jeez. This temple is one of the hardest places I've ever had to clean. There's lava, gravity waves, and moving walls. And don't even get me started on the green goo. I don't even know where it's coming from. Wait, 
is the Mexiverse going to end soon? I haven't even gotten to the North Wing yet. I've got to hurry it up. Dude. Oh boy, you got your you got your work cut out for you. Let's actually check out what's going on here. What? Hello? Ugh. Oh, jeez, it's one of these. Oh, wow, okay, that's interesting. No, get back here, you. Yeah, I'm just gonna rush through this because this is a little disorienting. There we go. What is this? This is so bizarre. I mean, the splatter the splatter is helping, but goodness, this is a little disort this is a little bizarre. Huh? Wow, today was exhausting. I finally finished cleaning the area you just came through. It's spotless. It's so clean that you can't even see the walls. <laughs> My brother would be so proud of me. Uh, that made ju that just made things harder, dude. Also, I am so sorry. My my, how did you fumble your way in here, little man? Good effort, but you're too late. I command the darkest canine sorceries and dance effortlessly between the worlds of the living and the dead. But by all means, go ahead and wrestle me. <laughs> all right, we're fighting White Beck. Here we go. Before before that, let's actually see what purchases we can get. All right, yeah, let's go with it. Make a Poyo shot. Anyway. Okay, she's got beams and whatnot. Okay, there's an opportunity for me to possibly grab her. Ah, no. Okay, she's pretty easy so far. Mm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. Ah! Oh, goodness. This is an interesting boss fight. Ah. Okay, nothing I can get out of the dimensions. Dimension swap! Nuts! I don't know how I avoided all that. I've expressed this before, but I really like this boss fight. There we go. What do we got? Mm. Is there any way I can get to White Beck? Oh, uh, here we go. Gotcha! Alright, third threshold. This is admittedly cool. Like, I like how she's how she's basically manipulating the uh uh, the field of battle, uh, with her magic. Alright, point of power! There we go. Ouch! Okay, yeah, that guy can swing up top, too. 
Gotta make, gotta keep track of that. Whoa. Ah, good old Das Kloot, you don't fail me ever. There we go. Ah, nuts. Nice. Enough! I'm through toying with you, Luchador. It's been fun. But now it's time for Luchador. It's time for Lunchador. And you're invited. You just stay... You just stay perfectly still for a second. Whoa! Okay. Well, this just got interesting. I'm not damaging her. Hmm. There's got to be something. No way! Ah! Oh no, are we doing- Oh snap! You just gave me the way- Yep. You just gave me the proper way to beat you. Okay, this is disgusting. And boom! Wow, Whitebeck, you're an idiot. Whew. Let's do that again! No! Absolutely not, Tostada! I'm okay! Thanks for asking! Severed. Although my precious headdress is destroyed! But at least I have the relic! <laughs> oh. Oops. I seem to have dropped my ball. Could you just roll that on back? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, hello. What is this? Salvador. Hand over the relic, unworthy foes. It's Salvador. And Muñeco! Hand over the relic, unworthy fellas. Damn it! Lost my train of thought. Hand over the relic, unworthy foes. Or else the dazzling power of. Ah, Muñeco! I'll distract them, boss. You punch them! Get out! Now! But I don't need friends. Ouch. <laughs> I love how White Beck's like, uh. Muñeco? Oh my. Where was I? Hand over the relic. What's a relic? Fine, then I'll take it by force. Oh, jeez. What the? Whoa, 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 what was that? Don't touch me. Now to Via Chula to collect the final relic. Come on, White Beck. Bye, chumps! Was I too harsh on Muñeco? A, a little bit, Salvador. What else could go wrong? Uh... <sighs> oh dear. Oh no! Oh no, not the statue! Oh no! <laughs> oh 
no. Wait, Infierno? Are you kidding me? We're in... What? Sorry, can't let you through. You're not dead yet. Oh, wait. You died seven years ago. Oh, wait. You died seven years ago? We're still missing your C7038 form. And we need those passport size photographs. Two passport size photographs. Oh, okay, so we can't... Oh, I see. What is this? Well, looks like we're in El Infierno, everybody. And look! It's, it's El Diablo! Well, I guess we're dealing with this next episode. Goodness gracious! Hi, Flame Face. I'll deal with you in a second, man. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Waka Melee 2. In the next episode, um, we're gonna continue through this area. Um, hopefully find a save point sometime soon. And, uh, go from there, I guess. Ah, there you go. There's a save point. Anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez. That, that was a bit of a roller coaster. Um, we got a problem. We gotta go find Salvador. And the Obsidian Relic is gone. Anyway. Whew! A lot happened. Thank you, guys. This was a long episode. For tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode. Adios!